Hey guys, welcome to the 19th C programming tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to reverse the order of an array. So the first thing that we need to do right here is just create a new integer array that we're going to reverse. So I'm just going to say right here, int nums, and then remember we need to have the square brackets on the end to signify that this is going to be an array. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set it equal to a set of numbers. And I'm just going to go ahead and store inside of this nums array 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now inside of our integer array called nums right here, we just have five integers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now what I'm going to do is create another integer array with five elements inside of it. So I'm going to say int reversed. And then I'm just going to put the square brackets to signify that it's going to be an integer array. And then inside of here, I'm just going to go ahead and put a 5. So basically right here, I just have an empty integer array called reversed. And inside of here is where we're going to store this array in reversed order. So the first element inside of this array is going to be equal to the last element inside of this array. So it's going to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 inside of this array. All right, so now we actually need to get to the code to actually reversing it. So like I said, what we want to do is make the last element inside of this array equal to the first element inside of this array. So the last element inside of this array right here is going to be 1, the second to last element inside of this reversed array is going to be 2, and so on. So basically what we need to do right here is just go through every single element inside of this nums array. So we're going to say 4 int um, i equals 0, since 0 is the lowest index that we can have. And then we just want it to loop while i is less than 5, since 5 is the number of elements inside of our integer array right here. And then we just want to increment i after each loop so that we actually are going through every single element. All right, so now we've basically just written a for loop that will go through every single possible index for our nums array right here. Now, like I said, what we need to do is just set the last element inside of this array equal to the first element inside of this nums array. So what we're going to do is we're going to say reversed and the index that we're trying to get at is the last index or the highest index. So we're going to do 4 minus i. And 4 is the highest index. So if i is equal to 0, which it is on the first loop through, then this code right here will access the last element inside of this integer array called reversed. And we want to set that equal to the first element inside of this nums array right here. So we're going to say nums at the index of i. So now, if i is equal to 0 right here, it's just going to go ahead and set the last element inside of this reversed array equal to the first element inside of this nums array up here. All right, so now let's just go ahead and walk through this code. So the first thing that it's doing up here is just creating a new integer array called nums. And inside of this integer array, we have the integers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then we're creating another integer array called reversed. And we're going to store this array inside of it in reverse order. So the first element inside of this array is going to be 5, the second 4, and so on. So now let's just go ahead and look at this code. First, it's just creating a new integer called i and setting it equal to 0. Then it's just going to check and see if i is less than 5. The value of i is 0, so is 0 less than 5? Yes, it is. So now we're going to go ahead right here and access the index at 4 minus i i is 0, so we're accessing the element at the index of 4 inside of this reversed array right here, so the last element. Then we're setting it equal to the value at the index of 0 of this number array since i is equal to 0. So basically, like I said before, this code right here is going to set the last element inside of this reversed array right here equal to the first element inside of this nums array and so on. So if i is equal to 1, it's going to set the second to last element inside of this reversed array equal to the second element inside of this nums array right here. All right, so now this code will basically just reverse the order of this nums array right here and store the result inside of this reversed. All right, so now we just want to print out the contents of this reversed array. So we're just going to say 4 int i equals 0 while i is less than 5 since there are 5 elements inside of this reversed array. And then we just want to increment i each time since we want to go through every single element. And then we just want to print out that element that we're going through. 
and since it's an integer we just need to do modulus i and the line and then we're just going to print out reversed at the index of i all right so now basically what this is just going to do right here is just print out all the elements inside of this reversed array so now let's just go ahead and run this program and make sure that it works as we can see right here it has printed out this array in reversed order so basically what it did is it just went through and reversed the order of this array stored that in this reversed array and then printed that out alright so that's pretty much it for this tutorial so see you guys